Universe, it's me on a DK checking in once again. And it's just me and my disciples talking to God while we smoke though. We keep the lighter in our circle. Y'all got y'all weed? What's in the air? What's in the air, PJ? What y'all smoking? I can't wait to see y'all. For real, for real. Okay. Now, I know that all of you have heard me say that I gained a little weight, right? I say a little, but I really mean a lot. So it actually turns out that uh, with the surgery last year, the meds, um, the heart attack, um, and just not the best eating habits because I wasn't in the best headspace, I gained uh, 49 pounds in total, okay? Um, you newly back to smoking weed, Kia? Okay, so what you smoking? What you smoking? Um, so, I don't really like the way I look right now. Uh, and I'm being vulnerable because I don't know another way to be, right? I post way less pictures of myself now unless I'm smoking because I don't really like this little double chin shit I got going right here, right? Um and some other shit right so as a result i don't really like the way some things are looking on my body i don't like the way some of my clothes don't fit whatever the fuck i know i can lose the weight i'm just ready to not still be in pain right okay i got my elliptical i got my weights i'm on the problem is now that we are doing it it's kind of hard I'm not fully healed, I guess, is the situation. Anyway, fuck all that. That's not what we're talking about. What's up, Othello, the ghetto, and Kevin? What's going on, Big Blunt? What y'all smoking on? What y'all drinking on? Okay, so let's say you are dealing with somebody, right? It don't matter. Marriage, relationship, um, you know, and all of that shit, right? So you're dealing with somebody. No problem. Let's say they gain a significant amount of weight. Let's say they gained... We're going to use a round number, 50 pounds, right? What's up, Shani? So you talking to somebody, y'all been together day, and they gain 50 pounds, right? Are you out? And I want you to be for real. Are you cheating? Are you... How are you supporting them as their partner? Because here's the thing. Of course, if they gain 50 pounds, it's not just about the food that they're eating. It's the uh, it's the mindset, right? Because we all know weight gain comes from the things that we're telling ourselves or not telling ourselves. It's all mental. Do you stay and support them as the partner? Um, how do you encourage them to be better? I've been smoking. You see my eyes a little low, you know? Depends on why they gained it. That's a really, really good answer. Let's say they gained it because they are dealing with some depression issues. Let's say they are, you know, dealing with that. You understand what I'm saying? Over time. Um, but how do you encourage them? How do you, how do, because the sex changes. 50 pounds is a lot. Like 50 pounds definitely changed my weight size from what I wear to what I wear, right? Some of the shit that used to fit loose fit tight, right? So how do you, okay, so you said motivate them to lose it first. Change what you're cooking and get active together. Hey, Will. Hey, Cynthia. How you doing? Um, no, weight won't make you cheat. How many people agree with 50 pounds? Is 50 pounds cheatable? Is that a cheatable weight, guys? And when I say cheatable, y'all know what I mean. There's never a reason or an excuse to cheat. But is that is 50 pounds something that you would notice? Because let's think about, let's say, ladies, your man gains 50 pounds. What's true is every 35 pounds is an inch of penis. So, if your man is seven and a half inches, eight inches, let's call him a round figure. If your man is eight inches and your man gains 50 pounds, your man really is six inches now. So everything changes. 
some of those things that some of those places that he used to be able to hit, he not going to be able to hit no more because he lost two inches. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> I know there's no cheatable weight twin, but you know what I'm saying. Like, when your man, let's say your man loses that two inches. It's not about the belly. I love a man with a belly. I'm just saying, like, you make niggas fat, I be cooking and baking. And you don't notice a difference sexually? That's how I know size don't matter. So if you with a nigga that's eight inches, you make that nigga fat because you cooking and baking and feeding them cakes and pies and all of that good shit, right? And he lose two inches. You don't notice that sexually? Because if you don't notice it, size really don't matter. It is the motion of the ocean. Niggas ain't got no good reason to put up 50 pounds of fat unless it's a medical situation. Let's say it's a medical situation and he put on 50. I'm just saying, that's two inches. And y'all cool with that? Because I know if a woman put on 50, she got extra thigh meat, she got extra belly that make it harder to reach some of those situations. Situations. Um, Kia said she's had some cool little dick before. Hey, listen, the best dick I've ever had in my life, that nigga was five and a half inches. He was. And by all intents and purposes, five and a half is not big at all. But uh, that five and a half did wonders. That's all I'm saying. Um, <laughs> Callie says she like him fluffy. If he's still moving that dick the same, we good. I feel that. Can't nobody make a nigga fat. That's a nigga with fat guy tendencies. <laughs> You're right, because it is all in the mind. Thoughts become words that become actions, or inaction for that matter. You understand what I'm saying? So, you got to tackle that, that mind thing. It's like people think that if your partner gains weight, that is simply about them losing weight or going to the gym. When it's really not. It's what's going on in their head. It's it, Tackle that depression. Tackle the source of the problem. Because the weight gain is simply a symptom. The motherfucker go to the gym every day. Lift. Go super duper hard. Still go home and eat cakes and pies and ice cream. He's not going to... He or she is not going to lose any weight. Because you have not dealt with the problem. You can make a nigga go to the gym. But you can't make that nigga think right. And stress alone will prevent you from losing weight. So it's like... I'm like, I like where I'm at now. I can stand to have a little two-pack, Lord willing. Let me tell you something. When I seen you, you don't need shit. You got everything you need right there. I just need you to understand that, okay? Okay. Um, But yeah, I mean, I like a fluffy nigga too, but, and I, I love fluffy women. That's my preference is a fluffy woman, but like, there are certain things that I could do with a small girl that I cannot do with a big girl. You understand what I'm saying? Like, a small girl, you know how they talk about tripping or grinding. That's easier with two small bitches than it is with two big bitches. You understand what I'm saying? And it's easier if the small chick is on top of the big chick because that woman, the small chick, doing all the work because she on top. The big bitch is just laying there like what big bitches do. Do you understand what I'm saying? Not saying there's anything wrong with big bitches laying there because... I know plenty of big bitches that put in work when work is needed to be put in. But am I forwardly thinking that I'm going to go in putting in work? No, that's probably the difference between me and a small bitch. I don't just go in thinking, unless I'm just in the mood to ride some dick. I'm not going in thinking, hey, I'm about to put in work. Like, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, so there's just the difference. So you take all of those, not, and I'm not going to say L's because they're not L's, but things just become different with the way you do things, you know, 50 pounds. So I don't know. I just wanted to know if that made a difference. Was that stupid? I'm high. But that's not going to stop me from lighting my weed again. As far as depression and stress, I'm crazy than a motherfucker. I'm just disciplined. I like to think about myself that way as well. I got my issues. I really do. But I definitely know how to exercise those things. You feel what I'm saying? You get what I did there? Exercise? Okay. I'm about 40 pounds heavier than when I first met some of my friends and some people in the group. I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison or video or once video over. <clears throat> okay. That'll be cool. I remember... <clears throat> Are you 
sure it's 40 pounds? I don't think that's true. I think you're inflating those numbers quite a bit. I will say that you have gotten thicker, but I would definitely not say 40. I think that's a stretch. Just saying. But if you want to send me a picture in my inbox, like the one from a few years ago, then I could really, really be a good judge. That I could really tell. This side by side that you about to put in the group, that's cool too. Go ahead and do that too. I need something that I could really tell though. I don't know. I'm high. Being high is never an excuse for anything though. Let me just be clear. Like the only thing that's different when I'm high is that I might not filter what the fuck I was going to say. But it's not like, oh my God, I said that because I was high. I never say anything because I'm high. I might have said that while I was high. That's it. Her ass gained 20 pounds of thickness and won a flabbergast. Right. I agree with that, PJ. Hey, PJ. Anyways. I love y'all. I swear I do. I need to get started making dinner and all of that shit, so I'm going to go. But I love y'all. I swear I do. And I'm going to be back. I'm going to be back. I promise. This is the ending of my video. <laughs> oh, thank y'all for watching.